The next signal classification that we want to talk about for just a minute is the difference between deterministic signals and random signals. For this course that you're in right now, it's actually pretty straightforward because everything that we deal with is going to be a deterministic signal. And not until you know, later on, um, you'll probably take a course in random variables, maybe random signals as an undergrad, but definitely in grad school, you would take a course in random processes and that's when you would deal with random signals. So for now, we're pretty much always in the world of deterministic signals. Deterministic signals behave in a fixed way as a function of time. So we know exactly how they behave at every point in time. There is no uncertainty. We know its value everywhere. As an example, x of t, e to the minus t, u of t. You tell me t, I you know, plug into this equation, and I know exactly the value of the signal at any time that you tell me. And it's exactly the value we compute. No uncertainty at all. Random signals are different because there is uncertainty in the signal. We usually call these random signals random processes, and it's just a collection of time-ordered random variables. So how you treat random signals is radically different than how you treat deterministic signals. You need completely different mathematics to analyze and think about how random signals interact in linear systems, how you describe the output of a linear system when the input was random and things like that. So if you go on and take a course of random processes, the notation itself is going to be your clue that you're dealing with random signals. We usually use capital letters for random processes. So instead of lowercase x of t, we use capital x of t. So that notation tells you that this is actually a random process. And I can't write down that this is equal to anything because it's random. I don't know what it's equal to. Instead, I have to describe it in terms of, you know, its average value as a function of time or its variance as a function of time or other statistical quantities like how it decorrelates as a function of time. So the descriptions for random processes are very different than deterministic signals. Deterministic signals, I can just write down exactly what they're equal to. So fairly straightforward definition. And for this class in particular, if you're asked, is this signal random or deterministic? Yeah, as long as it has this lowercase notation, you've got an equation, you know it's a deterministic signal.